What's going on everyone? In this video, I'll be sharing some crazy news. That is the SAT is going online in 2024 and beyond. Yes, you heard me right. The SAT is going online in 2024. And for international students, it will be going online starting from 2023. This is very big news because the SAT has always been an in-person exam where students go to test centers every single Saturday where they take the exam for three hours and then they leave the test center and get their score within two weeks. But now with the SAT being online, students can take the exam at home. And this insinuates a lot of things. But before I continue, every single person watching this video who will be taking the SAT this year or next year, the SAT going online is not going to help you. You're still going to have to take the exam in person. So with that being said, I would like to bring some huge news for you all. And that is the launch of my SAT math crash course to a perfect 800. In this course, I review all. I tell you all the tips, tricks, strategies, concepts, and pattern recognition techniques that you can use to get a perfect 800 score on the math SAT. I cover topics from linear equations to circles, to calculator active problems, to statistics, to triangles, to angles, to quadratics, to every single thing you can possibly come across on the SAT math section. And I teach you exactly how to solve that problem super quick with 100% accuracy. The first 100 people use the code FIRST100 will get a 25% discount off of the course. And by the way, this course only costs $200. People spend thousands of dollars on tutoring just to get a 700 SAT math section. This course will teach you how to get 800 in only six hours for 200 bucks. And with the 25% discount, this is an absolute steal. So for everyone interested, be sure to check out the link in the description below before it sells out. So now back to the SAT being online. You see a USA article said today that people are spending thousands of dollars on tutoring and institutions, which I just mentioned earlier, which is another reason why I made the course. But because of this huge cost for the SAT, college wears aside, you know what? Making the exam online will be a little more affordable and set it uh, equal standing for everyone involved because the idea is, as the USA article pointed out, rich kids have a higher chance of getting a higher score because they can spend money on you know tutoring and institutions and thousands of dollars. While kids who are come from more poor families, they really don't have that much money to spend on a thousand dollars of tutoring or like the, the top tutor in the world which is another reason why i made a course so cheap so other important details for the sat that's going online is the fact that the sat will now be shorter also there will be a calculator active portion which is the math portion for the entirety of the sat meaning you can always use a calculator on the math section of the sat before there's a no calc and a calc section but now it's only a calculator active so this means that you will be able to use a calculator for easier problems as well. But now there's a catch to that, which I'll explain later in the video. Because first we need to focus on exactly what an online SAT will mean for every student. The first thing is this is what every student is probably thinking about and that is cheating. Cheating is gonna be a huge thing on the SAT with it being online because like it or not, if professors don't know, students cheat all the time in online school. Right? They'll call up their friends, they'll look at Quizlet, they'll um, take exams together. Cheating is soaring because of Zoom University. But what students don't realize is that College Board isn't that dumb. They're going to understand that SAT is a major exam. A lot of colleges will still look at the SAT as a major indicator of a student. So what's most likely going to happen is that College Board will make the student take the SAT online, but with the lockdown browser. Now, what is a lockdown browser? That means you can't use any tabs. Well, then a student might be like, okay, I'll just call my other friends and we all take it together. Well, the thing is a lot of new institutions, especially for like job interviews, like I've been applying for jobs and I have to use a platform called HireView. And what HireView does is it records your screen and records your camera and your audio. So if anyone else is in the room, they will know. If you are talking to a friend, they're gonna know. If you're opening new tabs, they're gonna know. So College Board will most likely adopt a similar system when administering the SAT, because like I said, the SAT is a serious exam. So they wanna make sure cheating is not a thing. So they're probably gonna have access to your laptop camera, your screen, as well as your audio. So there is absolutely no hope of you trying to cheat. And honestly, don't cheat anyways, you're just hurting yourself. Another big possible outcome of the online SAT is that there will be maybe a very score distribution. You see before the score distribution might have been a little more um, jagged where um, there's some high scores, some low scores, but most scores are in the center. I feel like now there might be some higher scores, right? Because some students will get away with using some unauthorized resources. It might be, it's going to be hard, but there's students who will probably find a way to do it. And because of that, and because ST is shorter and now the entire thing is calculator active, the scores might be on the higher end. So in other words, there might be some inflation when it comes to SAT scores. So what does this mean? Well, that means your curve is probably gonna be very harsh. In other words, if you get one question wrong, you're probably looking at a minus 30 or minus 40, which is a pretty big minus, I understand that, but that's what happens when everyone's getting like a 
1400 plus which most likely won't be the case because cheating won't be a thing as well as the problems might be a little harder as well which is my next point with st being online that means college board will be more comfortable giving a little harder problems because they'll assume that you know students being at home might be a little more comfortable might have a little more resource access so the number of problems or the content of the problems and the difficulty might go up a little more but that's fine because you have me and one of the biggest pieces of news i mentioned earlier was the fact that you can now use a calculator on every single math problem for the sat and a lot of students are looking at this and it's like wow like, this is amazing this is actually horrible and let me tell you why you see the idea with the ST math section no calc is to find the tricks and patterns that you can use to solve a problem instantly without having to do the traditional method of you know using a quadratic formula to solve a problem or if you use a calculator to plug it in y1 and y2 find the solutions the idea is you have the pattern recognition you know ability to aptitude to recognize the patterns recognize the tricks and solve the problem instantly but if you can't do that and you're relying on the calculator now you're just going to end up being even slower than you were before. Like for example, say you're given a very simple problem on the SAT math section that would usually be a no calc problem. But now since you have a calculator, you're probably like, I'm going to use a calculator. But then you slowly realize the calculator is not helping you. In fact, even in the calculator section of the SAT right now, most problems do not require a calculator if you are doing it the fastest way possible. And by the way, my ST math course teaches you how to do that as well. So it's interesting because a lot of students, while they think be having a calculator is a good thing for every single ST math problem, it's actually a bad thing. And most likely it's going to hurt them. It's going to slow a lot of students down because a lot of students will think now that they have a calculator, they're invincible, which the reality of the situation is a calculator probably won't be of much use to you. It might only help you on like five or six problems because right now it only helps you on five or six problems. So when everything's calculator active, I imagine maybe eight or seven problems, that's it. But it is a good thing for the people who are nice at ST math section because now you will be able to take advantage of the students who are relying on the calculator so heavily and the ones who don't watch my video, the ones who haven't watched my course, they're not gonna understand, hey, you can solve a problem like every problem like five seconds if you know the exact trick associated with it, which is pretty crazy. But nope, you got a calculator now, so now you're wasting your time. And now a lot of students with the ST being online, are they're thinking, should you even take the SAT? Is it still worth it? You see, last year when multiple colleges went test optional, a lot of students thought that the SAT was nullified, the SAT would not matter. But in fact, while about, I think, 2.4 million to 1.2 million was the account of SAT test takers from two years ago to last year because of, you know, colleges going test optional, a lot of students are still taking the SAT every year because it is one of the biggest exams ever and a lot of top colleges and even New York colleges that are rising in the levels will look at the SAT. Yes, they say it's test optional. We, we care about everything about you, but at the end of the day, they're gonna need some sort of standardized way to measure every single student. And that is what the SAT has been for so many years. So that's what's going to happen. Whether it be a new exam is now administered and place the SAT or the SAT being online and that, being, that version being used, it doesn't matter. Colleges will care about your SAT score and they will care about your ACT score, your GPA, they will care about everything academically. Now you might think, well, I'm just not going to take the SAT and since the college is test optional, I'm fine. Okay, let's say you and another person are almost similar, right? And exact same academics, same sports, um, same overall extracurricular level, right? Like you're in three clubs, he's in three clubs. Now what if that student took the SAT, got a 1450, which is a pretty good score. That's like 95th percentile. And you have no SAT score. They're gonna pick this student because they know that this student, because of that extra test score, we believe in the student more. We have more inclination to take on this student and to give him, you know, classes, to give him a spot in our college versus this student, who is almost exact same as this one, but we don't know the SAT score, we don't know enough about him while we know this one extra thing about this student. So the SAT, taking it, getting good score on it, which is to set you above a lot of the students who are applying to the same college. That's why I so highly recommend taking it. So that is it for my SAT online news and honestly analysis of what's gonna happen next. If you guys are interested in my ST math course, be sure to check the link in the description below. It's gonna help you a ton, I promise you that. And if you are interested in taking the SAT, then it's time to get studying about right now because ST is in less than a month. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all love life. Enjoy, good luck, peace.